video today is part two of our Monster of Feria. So we're gonna be going to Monster of Feria again. Oh, by the way, on part one we've already showed one part two of the eerie skin. But if you guys haven't watched it, you can go watch it right now. You might not be able to see my face cam. I don't know why. It might be a little glitchy, but. And by the way, this is, I just started playing Roblox on computer for our YouTube videos. But I have been playing on computer before. I've been sometimes playing it. Okay, so we'll be going in RP to do this. That's, that stands for role playing. So, first of all, you would like to be a Growdy, I'm pretty sure. So, let's type Growdy. Please don't tell me how you... Yes, I did not quit the skin. So none of you guys can see it yet. <laughs> anyway, you're gonna have to be a growly. And I'm pretty sure it has to be nighttime. And then it will say, it will say like this. It will say, um, it will, a wolf cry was, was heard at the snow village. Then when you spawn as a growly, you will see a eerie skin of growly like a different skin and you have to walk to him and then is that the no that's not the eerie growly guys don't worry but once he spawns he will he will basically kill you and then it will say you have gotten the skin and i might want to show you since you guys think it might think it's a player this is what it looks like it kind of looks freaky don't i'm not gonna show anymore do not mind that one that one's from last year Okay, now we're going to be showing you how to get Eri Chachik. So, if I'm correct, Chachik is... How do you get that thing again? I keep forgetting how to get each Eri skin. There's so many cuz. Oh, wait, I realized. I'm so sorry, guys. I just realized I forgot one Eri skin that was for part one. Oh, I did not put on... Please, I'm so sorry. Okay, this is Spectrally. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, three smookins. I am so sorry. I just realized that Trilly has an eerie skin. There's so much, okay? I'm, big apologies for that one. Big apologies. Okay. So what you're going to have to do is open this door, which I don't want to do exactly right now, but okay. I'll just do it for fun. So this is the, so that's the first code. I'll show you where all the codes are for this door. So they, and also they can change every single time. Well, not every single time, but I mean like every time you join a different server. Bruh, start getting stuck on the wall. Okay. So I'm pretty sure, you basically can just look around because I can also forget. But okay, I'm not in here. Okay, that's one. And I'm pretty sure there's another one in a different room. So, but we'll just put that there for now. Okay. So now we have to go upstairs. Uh, I'm pretty sure someone, it's not in here, really. Anyway, doesn't matter about that thing. Here will be the heart. That'll be the green one, and it might not be a heart for you because the it can be different. It's possible to be different. I wonder where the blue one is. Comment down below where the blue one is. I actually don't know where it is now. Anyway. We should have the coat now. So now we have to add green was. Yeah, it was a love heart. So E examine. Uh, you're gonna need the key for this, by the way. Uh. Oh, there's a couple. Oh, you see this manual and. Called the booing manual. I already have one for myself. Once you have this manual, 
Um, you're gonna have to be think. Yes, this thing. I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay. Uh, by the way, let's you do that. Uh, go over here. Uh, it's right in this house, right here. And then once you go to this cooking pot, you will get like something that you can get. Yeah, there you go. Uh, where is it at? Yes, yeah, potion of instability. You have to make one. These are the items you need. And you also need the building manual, obviously. And once you have all those items, you can make one and you have to drink it, okay? Drink it. And then it says you have unlocked it. Okay, anyway, let's get on with the part two of the video. I'm very sorry about that, guys. Anyway. What you like to do, that's an eerie magic if you guys don't know. First, legendary scary skin. Or, I should say Halloween, but eerie. So, the, so, yeah. So, what you would like to do is get a fire type. It could be Ignite or Kignite. I recommend Kignite. But if you know, Ignite is higher level, then I recommend your Ignite. I recommend fast Pokemon, and it's easier to get there. So let's just get this final evolution. Okay, so what would you like to do is like find one of those portals to actually go into, like one of the Mega portals that is colored purple portal. You probably should notice by now, like people that are really good at this game, you know. Haha, <laughs> something like this. Okay, so you have to go in here. Jump in before it disappears. Alright, anyway, you'll be in this weird, awkward world. Uh, and, and also, in the previous video where I showed you about part one, I showed you how to get one piece of Magu suit. But you guys might have not watched that, so I'll just show you still here. Uh, you, there'll be a sword near the Umbris place. So, it'll be like where Umbris usually spawns in the game. You have to go there and you'll hear a sword. Keep pulling it out until you get Magu's armor. And I'm pretty sure you have to be full HP to be able to take it out. Now, um, you're going to have to go to an arena for the other one. I'm pretty sure it's Magu's helmet. So, I'm just going to go ahead and find it. What if it's, oh, that, okay. That is the place you want to be at. And you're going to have to be on the second floor of this room. That is, oh, okay, right here. So you'll see these weird, I don't know, things that are not lit up. Use a fire move on it and then they can light up like that. You can, you can use any fire move on it. I don't recommend... Flare Blitz since, I don't think, it's, yeah, you might get flinged off and you have to go back. Oh, okay, give me a moment, I accidentally fell. You're not supposed to fall, okay? You're supposed to just lit all the fire thingies. So once you go there, use the Natify type move. And once you lit up all of these, uh, I don't have it because I already took it, but over here, will be his helmet and you have to go there and take it. Oh by the way, uh second last piece of armor is very hard. Well not actually that hard but like it's a bit long. So what you like to be is watch mod. Or you can be that uh weird RSP or something like that. But I recommend this this thing it's much more simple. I'm use uh, I'm using the sunshine skin right now. So I'm just gonna get the final level form because oh actually I can just stick with this. Okay. What you'll be like to do is go to a certain door. Uh I'll try to find it. Yeah, it's this one right there. First I'm pretty sure you'll like to go in here and Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to keep going straight.
So just copy these instructions, go straight and left, and then right. So you just have to go straight basically when you first start. And now you have to go this way. It's pretty simple. So now you'll be ending up in this room. You have to go over here. So go in that door and then you'll be sent here. Oh, just to say, uh, this place where you have to go to is actually at the Mudstorm uh, place where you unlock Mudstorm. If you guys don't have it, I can actually just show you how to get it. I'm not too sure if you have to use the flute, but uh, anyway, you have to go here and also you have to know self-destruct. So you have to go to this one, not the other one. If you go to the other one, there'll be nothing. Anyway, if you get mixed up which one it is, just look through the hole and you'll see stuff inside there. The one with black stuff in it is not it. Anyway, you're going to have to use self-destruct right here and it will lead you apart. But you'll kill yourself. Then you can respawn. And you can... I'll evolve since it's more simple. Anyway. Yep, yeah, right here. Okay, so what you have to do is just go straight once you go in that door. Just go right straight. And then you're going to have to go left. You basically have to, just have to follow everything it shows you. You have to go left again. I mean right. And then this way. And then eventually you'll end up in that room I showed you. Yep, here we are. So you have to go back in that room and I'll show you where it might, I'll show you where it is. Just in case, if you guys don't know where it is. I'm pretty sure most of you will be able to see where it is, but I'm not too sure if you guys will be able to see it or not. So I'll just do it just in case. Okay, so right here, uh, yeah, this way, you have to go right here, and then once you are in this room, uh, there'll be like a coffin, I'm pretty sure, right here, on top of, wait, I'm stuck, on top of this um, coffin, and once, and then it'll be like a piece of his armor, and once you do that, yeah, I, once you take it, uh, reset yourself, and, these bookims. Wait, spelled that wrong. The beast bookims. Jump up, and you basically just have to. Oh my god, that's a glitch. So you basically. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, it's night time. Okay, so it has to be night time for this thing to activate. You have to examine it, and then click on Magu, and then you can summon, yeah, yeah I already have it. And also that's the same with Duran, you're going to need, yes, 15 bones, 5 soul fragments, and a horn fossil. Horn fossils, you have to destroy, like, Vaz. You can use tackle, takedown, and yep. And then also, you can also get Elatoid. And you're gonna need its body parts. So that's how you get Eerie Magu. A little simple, but okay. I'm pretty sure that's. I'm still not too sure about Chachik. Oh wait, uh, there's one more I have to show you too. I'm pretty sure you have to watch a different YouTuber <laughs> to find out how you get Chachik. I kind of forgot. Oh no, I remember. Uh, you have to plant like stiff in the. What's that thing called? The uh, dirt mouth. You have to make put bones and then water them and wait. And you have to get three flowers, bone flowers. Oh, by the way, you have to. I okay for this task. I would like you to be Wazard. This one right here. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, so you have to go to this mansion basically right here. And once you're in this mansion where you'll see this guy that looks really creepy once you look at him. You have to go all the way up to the staircase. And once you're all the way up to a staircase, you'll be able to see some this thing. Okay. So you'll be up here and you'll see this statue. If you're on computer, tap Q. If you're on iPad, go in first person. You just have to, yeah, use your fingers. And then uh, you have to tap E and then you have to interact with it. So you see there's something in the back of your mind so keep an eye on it. So then you have to go on first person, put your back right on it and Eventually, when you are, you can be AFK for this. And uh, you're basically going to have to wait and, yeah, it's going to kill you. I think it will kill you at night time, in the morning in the tense night. That's when it kills you, but, anyway, it will attack you eventually. And once it attacks you, uh, you'll be dead and then it says you unlock Eerie Kose. And I'll show you Eerie Kose myself. Okay, so here is, Kel there we go. Okay, that's Eerie Kelse, looks a little ugly, must admit, but it's not my choice to de change the skins or decorate them, so. And also, uh, I said this in the other video, but you guys might have uh, not watched it yet, like I said before. Uh, you have to go to this lady right here, codes. And this is a code that will give you eerie tadpole. It's Halloween 2020. It's spelled exactly the same. Not so. There's no capitals. Only H. And then enter. Boom. You've already redeemed this code because I've already done it. So once you've done that, oh, I hope this guy's okay. Anyway. Anyway, uh, that's, anyway, I'm pretty sure that's all the eerie skins you can get. Uh, there's no more coming in the future. There'll be some coming next year, obviously. But other than that, I don't think any more is coming out. If there is, I will be comment. I will be doing a video on how to get it. If there's like something else I missed out or something that I forgot, obviously. Anyway, have a great day. Also, uh, it's nearly Christmas, so Christmas skins are nearly coming out. Uh, I'll also be doing videos on how to get Christmas skins. But I've, and also, I'm sorry I did this late. Uh, I I'll remember Christmas, okay? I'll do, I'll make sure to do Christmas early, once I figure out how to get the Christmas skins. Anyway, see you guys next time. Next time. And hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you can get so you never miss a video and plus also hit the subscribe button so we can get 40 subscribers and we can play arsenal and also 50 to, to do a giveaway and the giveaway will be legendaries and they'll be shiny some of them will be ultra beasts so if you want if you want them badly hit the subscribe button also tell your friends to do it too anyway see you in the next Anyway, see you in the next video and hope you have a great time. I'm just gonna go here. Anyway, see you later, my friends. And also, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. But other than that, have a great day and peace out.